Why does resin have so few colors to choose from? You know what? I'm just gonna have to make my own colors. Filament printers get a ton of different colors to choose from. Look, we've got red, green, blue. There's uh, some pink that I just bought. Uh, but what does resin get? I mean, it's mostly shades of gray and some beige. Uh, occasionally you can find white or like a light green or blue. But that's pretty much it. What else you got? So I picked up this set of dyes from Amazon and they say they are made for resin. So I've only tried them very briefly once with one color of some uh, semi-clear resin. But I want to give it a real go. And so we've got 24 colors in here. Let's take this out. We've got all kinds of things here. We've got, I think they have fun names. Let's see, we can read the names. That is agate, agate, agate. Uh, this is fire opal. See if we have anything more fun. Let's see, uh, fluorite. Uh, pick one over here, ruby. So, of course, you can also mix those together. And Soraya Tech has generously offered to send some resins that we can test this out with. This is their Soraya Tech White Fast, or Fast White. <laughs> this is their Simple Clear. And so we're going to be mixing some of these up, and we'll see what we can make. Okay, so I picked out four colors, uh, kind of a variety. I uh, got my gloves on. Uh, four colors, I have jadeite. You can see there, kind of a green. This one is lapis lazuli. Some very interesting names they have for these. This one is citrine. I thought it would be good for one of the models. And this one is Ruby. The most normal sounding name of them all. <laughs> okay, so I also got these uh, silicone uh, measuring cups. Uh, got a whole set of them, different sizes uh, from Amazon. And the set also came with a bunch of these silicone stirring sticks. Uh, I'll put links to these in the description. And I've got my white resin here. I've got it all shaken up. Now I chose two specific models and uh, I figured out exactly how much resin to use uh, because once, you know, if there's any extra resin, I can't just pour it back into the bottle because, you know, it'll contaminate the rest of what's in there. So whatever's left over has to be thrown out. Unless you're going to store it somewhere else. So let's pour out some of this. Right. And what's great about these silicone cups is that once it's poured and once you're done with it and it's dirty, you can just let it cure and then whatever's left just peels out and you can totally just reuse it again. Now, let me check if I got the right amount. Yes, I poured that exactly right. First try. <laughs> okay, so let's try putting some of this red in, this ruby. Yeah, I shook it up. Uh, these do have a little tip that you have to cut off. Uh, I have these nippers here. I'm going to hope these are okay. Hey, I think that went flying somewhere. I don't know how much this is going to take. We'll try a few drops. One, two, three, four, five. Let's try five first. I'm going to mix it up. All right. 
Okay, so we've got kind of a pinkish. We'll try a little bit more. Okay, so that was 10 drops. Mix this up some more. Oh yeah, I'm getting much more reddish now. Make sure it's real mixed up. Yeah. And just out of curiosity, I'm going to try a little bit more. Okay, it's another five drops. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get that real mixed up real good. And we'll do a little printing with it and see what we get out of that. Okay, this was so much fun putting these together and you know, printing all the different colors and just seeing after you mix the color, you see the print coming up and it's like the exact color that you mixed. It, like it doesn't change color at all. It's not like uh, acrylic paint where it gets darker as it dries. This stays the exact color that you mixed and it, it was just so cool to see it coming out of there. So I started off with a Pikachu and a Hellboy and I just chose those two models because this one is nice and smooth and this one has a lot of fun detail so these were the original white two that I tried and I also did them in the clear so we're gonna be looking at them in both clear and white I really liked how the blue came out. You can, it really helps to see the details in all of them. You know, and you can really see all the details there in the Hellboy Pikachu. It looks very smooth. Uh, obviously blue is not the correct color for Pikachu. So uh, I made this yellow and when I was mixing this one I had this uh, citrine yellow and it was starting to look a little bit too kind of lemony for me, so I put in a couple of drops of red and thinking it would make it a little bit more slightly orange, warmer yellow. Uh, unfortunately, it came out <laughs> looking a little bit like tan, but I still think it looks pretty good. Got something on there. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, uh, the jadeite actually looks like jade. Like... If you were to do a uh, like a, a Chinese dragon or something, which I should probably do, uh, and use this, it would look really cool, like an actual, uh, you know, sculpture from China or Japan that was made out of jade. And so, yeah, so that's really cool. And of course, Hellboy is supposed to be red, so. Uh, I've got the red. Uh, he came out a little bit more like pink, but uh, you know, I guess if I added more of that ruby color, then uh, yeah, it would probably be more red. But I do like this. You can see all the details very well. And again, the uh, the transparent ones, adding the red to those, and it actually looks like it's made of like a ruby or something. 
So, yeah, it came out really cool. The blue, also very cool. Uh, hold on, let me see if it can... I haven't even tried this yet, if you can shine a light through it, how that looks. My flashlight here, my phone. And, yeah. That is definitely very cool. Let's see, shining through. That's really cool. So you could really take one of these and put a little LED light in it. Flashlight off. Yeah, <laughs> it's really cool. Uh, I'm gonna have some close-up pictures of these. Uh, really exciting. Uh, if you want to try it yourself, I'll have links to the colors and the Soriatec resins I used. Uh, of course, you could use other resins too, but I'll have links to the colors and the Soriatec resins uh, down below. Uh, they were on uh, Amazon. And of course, these uh, silicone uh, measuring cups too. There, I'll have links to that. Those were really handy. Really liked those. So, that's it. It was fun. Uh, if you liked the video, be sure to hit the like button. Um, be sure to subscribe. Leave a comment below. You know, if you want to see a different color, maybe I might be able to mix that up and try it. Uh, but, yeah, it was fun. Um, be sure to subscribe. Uh, hit me up on Patreon if you like this and you want to support the channel. And see you next time.